Zaxby's, indescribably good. Raider fans, and welcome to the Mo Dixon Show, brought to you by Zaxby's, with two locations here in East Cobb. And tonight, we're going to review that Woodstock victory. What a great one that was. Come behind by the Raiders. We're going to preview the Milton game. Then after the break, viewer mail. Oh, I can't say that. That's probably already copyrighted. Uh, coach's mailbag. That's probably already copyrighted, too. Um, from uh, our Raider Valley questions and all of that. And then we've got thumbs up, thumbs down, Coach. But I was thinking of you on Friday when the first score I saw was 14-0. Mm -hmm. And then I, then I see 21-7. Seven, mm -hmm. and then I see thirty-five twenty-eight, and the words of the old Detroit Lions coach Wayne Fonts came to mind, <laughs> which is, "We ain't dead yet." We ain't dead yet. That was us. a whale of a comeback. And how did you keep the team together? You know, you're down fourteen nothing after two quick turnovers. What are you thinking on the sideline at that point in time? Well, I've been pretty sore all weekend, so there's a lot of uh, running around and jumping up and down, and ripping some. <laughs> in and <laughs> encouraging people and but it uh I was it was uh, it was an exciting game uh actually I thought we were sort of in control because it seems like uh when they got their momentum it was usually because of something we did right and, right uh, but uh you know good football team it was their homecoming uh, uh great situation over there those guys uh they had the big uh, it reminded me of going to a Georgia game they had the big entrance and uh, it was pretty cool and uh so uh, they came out ready to go. We came out down 14 to nothing, and uh, we um, sort of made a little bit of a switch at, 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 a, at quarterback uh, to get a, which was actually pre-planned, mm -hmm. and uh, so it wasn't really a surprise because uh, Josh had hurt his foot uh, diving over top of somebody and scored a touchdown the game before. So um, he'd been in a boot since the game. Uh, he came back on it Wednesday in uh, like a real champ you know he came out you could tell it was still bothering him some but he worked out hard and of course we had thursday's uh walkthroughs and stuff and uh or run throughs how i like to call them and uh so anyhow a addison show is uh he's he's got all the jv games under him now right uh, he didn't get a lot of work in the summer he's, he's he plays baseball and uh, so it was time to start getting him some reps especially you know where josh had just got hurt and uh you know, we tell them they're one play away. So anyhow, Addison did, has done a great job getting himself ready, and he, we put him in as planned. And uh, then, uh, you know, we just sort of got hot, and uh, one thing led to another, and, uh, and Addison was having a good night, and uh, we would have did the same thing the other way around. And, uh, you know, with the situation we're in right now, it's a, it's, everything is for the moment. Right. And, uh, you know, right. early in the season you're playing down the road, those type of things. Uh, so um, now we've got to we got to do what we got to do to uh, win these ball games, especially be, being behind the eight ball the way we are right now. So uh, it worked out yeah. great. Addison was ten of sixteen, uh, played very well, was able to make some plays uh, running the ball as well. So mm -hmm. um, really a, a good change when when he came in there and you know Josh with the foot injury. I mean it's mm -hmm. it's, it's it's just so key. And I know you tell young kids this all the time. You have to be be prepared on any play to go in and right. play. You can't be, you know, gazing at the stars or we wondering told, what's going to happen on Saturday, you know, afternoon or whatever. Well, we told the kids, our exact, you know, uh, the, the, all the JV kids, that, that we expected them to be, start being ready by the middle of the season because we're pretty thin anyhow. And, uh, you know, that's starting to happen now. And, uh, and uh, again, Addison stepped in and, and, and did a really good job. You know, he's uh, – quarterback's a whole different thing. And uh, he's the type of kid that he works like he's a starter and uh, uh it paid off because yep. uh you know there's things that go into also you know there's there was a couple of wrong routes that were run at the beginning of the game and uh, uh josh had to go away from the original uh, the plan of the play and, and uh, um you know he was uh, he had a there was a physical play down there and, and uh and josh is kidding and quite frankly i've talked to josh about not trying to be uh um Try to juke and stuff like that. Get either get out of bounds, or uh, you know, at six five, two twenty five, uh, make them think twice before they try right, to tackle you because right, he's right. a tough kid. So, anyhow, it's a uh, it's all good. We're we're getting ready for our next game. Uh, the kids have did a great job of, uh, uh, you know, I was real impressed with jo uh, Josh the other night because he's frustrated with his foot and uh, you know he's he started every game. He's won four games for us and. Uh, 
And uh, so, but he was great. It was awesome. It was really awesome to see that, especially on the high school level. So uh, we're we're all good, and uh, we're we're working hard. We had some guys have a really good game. Uh, of course, KK had a good game as always. Uh, our offensive line did a good job. Defense played hard. Um, Bailey Wolf had a couple huge plays. Yep. Yep. Big huge catch. plays. I think Bailey's catch is the first time. Um, I thought the ball was just maybe it was thrown over his head, and I had to go back to watch it. And what an incredible catch he made! But it's probably the biggest play. He got special teams player of the, of the week because of his uh, his run back of the punt or not the punt, the kickoff, because he took it all the way back across the field to where the blocking was. Mm -hmm. And, you know, anything happened on kickoff. Bailey did a great job. I'm really proud of him. He played a good ball game the other night. And uh, he's been he's been waiting for that sort of little breakout game there, and he and he got that thing. Well, you've got a good situation where, you know, Josh has won some games. He's played very well. And, um, you know, with the injury, you now have Addison ready to go. Having two quarterbacks that can play, particularly as the season grinds on, mm -hmm. you've got a couple of tough weeks. I know a lot of people think, I want just one quarterback. But in today's mm -hmm. world of football, two quality guys that can make plays is just invaluable. Well, we've got that, and they both they both got something they do well. And uh, so we're just going to keep working. You know, now we, we you know we chart everything in practice, and uh, but we're going to do what's best uh, for our team. Right. And, you know, right. J Josh is our guy, but Addison, is uh, he's, he's special, uh, and he's playing well. So uh, we're going to go into the game with the same plan we had last week, and uh, um, hopefully we'll uh, – it's going one way or another it works out. And, uh, uh, you know, they both got things they do well. Well, and I know as a coach you always like to have competition at positions because it keeps both guys playing well. Absolutely. You mentioned KK. You get down 28-21 to 21 in the second half, and then you kind of just went to the KK Express. You know, he, 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 the second half, he gets the ball a lot. You made a comment in the paper that when – KK's run the ball in the second half. We tend to win a lot of football games, and mm -hmm. it seemed as though he really started feeling it uh, third and fourth quarter and came away with the 35-28 victory. Yeah, you know, it's sort of everything's a feel, but, uh, you know, our, our offensive line, uh, um, pretty physical. Coach K, Coach Evans do a great job with those guys, and mm -hmm. uh, those guys work really hard, and uh, uh, they've always been physical here at Walton. You guys know that even more than I do, but uh, – you know we're trying to get to that point, and uh, we're trying to be multiple. But it's uh, the guys played a really hard ball game. We we felt good after we dug ourselves out of that hole, and uh, so we're going to try to carry the momentum. We've got a real tough one this week. Which is like a tough, tough place to play, but the Raiders come away with a 35 to 28 victory. Now we have a redo of the 1980 Super Bowl: Raiders versus Eagles. Oh, okay. here we go. <laughs> Milton Eagles come into uh, Raider Valley Friday night. It is homecoming here at Raider Valley. Coach Milton's five and one. They uh, beat Cherokee twenty-three to nothing on Friday night. Their only loss is a two-point loss to Roswell back in mid-September. Mm -hmm. um, I saw them on TV against Norcross a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Big physical team. They're going to bring it. Oh yeah, they're good. They're 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 the team in the region. I mean, there's no doubt. I mean, even Roswell, uh, Coach Ford would talk about their physicality and you know they're all seniors. They got a whole group of seniors there, right. and. Uh, but, you know, uh, they bleed. You know, Roswell beat them, and uh, Roswell played a really good uh, uh, real good game against them. Uh, it takes a great, great game to beat them. They're, they are very physical. They've got good athletes. Head coach is outstanding. Their weight program is outstanding. And, uh, you know, they can do a lot of different things. they got a good, they got a good quarterback. Um, of course, they got the All-American linebacker. Right, right. Uh, their Mike linebacker is good. Their defensive line is outstanding. And, you know, I'll tell you the thing about them is, uh, as a coach you admire, they've just played pretty much their base defense, and they just going to line up and let's see what you got. Right, and, uh, right. So uh, they're coming to town, and, uh, and they, uh, they expect to win this region. And uh, so we've got our work cut out for us, and we, everybody knows our situation, and we have to be ready. And, uh, you know, we're not going – we'll be here when they get here. So That's right. We'll be here. Coach, keeping your players kind of focused play-to-play, game-to-game after uh, the last couple of weeks, has that been a problem? Or, I mean, you could kind of see it in the second half mm -hmm. on Friday that here they come, the boys are playing really hard. Mm -hmm. and But are you having, you know, are you just kind of having to preach to them over and over again? Guys, it's one play at a time, one game at a time. All right. You know, keeping a perspective, we win that. Every, every game's a playoff for you guys, I guess, from this point on. Well, I th without a doubt. Um, you know, ever since our situation popped up, uh, it, without a doubt, I mean, we're looking at today, we feel that, uh, 
you know, the week before last was a tough week, and um, and we dropped one here um, as a real rough week. But uh, we would at least be in the mix at, at two for sure because we have a whole group. I don't care anybody can say what they want. We're five and two. Yep. In uh, on the field, we've we've shown up seven games. We've won five of them, and we feel we could have won the other two. Yep. And uh, so we're not chump change. And uh, but. It is what it is. So we've got that third loss. We, we we did that ourselves, and we have nobody to blame but ourselves. And uh, so uh, that's really put us behind the eight ball. But um, yeah, we were. There is no other game. This this is the biggest game of the year, and uh, of course, Melton's going to be the same way. You know, we'll just be Absolutely. another team in their way. Absolutely. Well, as you remember, the Raiders did beat the Eagles in 1980. <laughs> so we're going to take a break. Hear from our sponsor Zaxby's, then we're going to come back and we'll um, decide what we're going to call um, the emails to coach. And uh, we're going to hear from Zach's people. We'll be right back. All right, so we're back with the coach after the uh, big victory over Woodstock. And, Coach, I mean, the email's just pouring in. I mean, I, you know, really? oh, yeah, it's just pouring in. I mean, my, my you know. Sort of like that crowd that I had to get through. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's, you know, I I personally think you probably need to have an agent to manage, you know, well, all of the. All well, they of the, were all, th yeah, throwing stuff like that. I, yeah. <laughs> I thought they were I throwing noticed. it at me. I know. Actually. I know. I know. So, Brendan East Cobb wants to know. Okay. Who what, is this again? Brenda and East Cobb. Brenda. And East Cobb. What's your favorite memory as a player? Oh, as a player? As a player. Oh, gosh. Come on now. We, we, we ask every old-time Raider on. We always say, what's your favorite Raider memory? Uh, what's, what's your favorite playing memory, whether in high school or college? Well, there's, there was two, there's two plays. All right. Okay, so I, it's the good and the bad. <laughs> I threw an interception one time. We had a, we call it a double X. We were playing a team that wasn't, uh, actually it was a team where I ended up being the head coach years later. Okay. But it was such a bad pass that when the guy caught the ball, I literally tackled him. So that's not something you should admit to, but mm -hmm. it, it fluttered a little bit. Okay. Second thing is playing Whitesburg in uh, Southeast Kentucky. There was a mm -hmm. time Whitesburg, uh, now it's a lecture central, but, but Weisberg was a huge powerhouse. They dressed. They were one of the few schools that would dress a hundred some. Right. In my school, we didn't dress a hundred some, but we blocked a kick. My best friend Dave Sandlin blocks a kick, and uh, picks it up, and he starts running with it. And then, of course, I was faster than Dave, so I'm like, flip it to me, Dave. So, <laughs> so Dave, Dave turns and flips it to me, and we. It, I guess it goes for about seventy for a touchdown. And what was fun is my dad said later how. How, you know, everybody, there wasn't nobody around me. <laughs> there was hardly, other than the, when you first did it, right. uh, block the kick. But I thought there was somebody right behind me. I was, I was running as fast as I could all the way to the end zone, so it looked sort of funny. So, Anyhow, but I do remember that because it was my best friend, Dave Sandlin. Well, as Satchel Page said, don't look back, they might be gaining on you. Yeah, well, I was afraid they were. <laughs> so, uh, second question is from Robert. Robert says, and I, and I, I think I know your answer to this question, but uh, I'm going to ask any. If you weren't a football coach, what would you be? No, oh, there's no doubt. It depends on if I was good at it or not. Uh, do, do I get a lead, be good lead at... singer or lead guitarist? No, I wouldn't be no lead <laughs> singer, but I'd be a lead guitarist for somebody. <laughs> I would definitely, uh, I, yeah, I'd be, uh, I'd be doing nothing but play guitar. So, did you ever? I know you only you only watch film in Kentucky basketball, but did you ever, have you ever played uh, Guitar Hero? No. Okay. Never. All right. Why, why, you... I, play, why play fake? I, I well, I gotta tell you, thing. I gotta tell you, the one thing about Guitar Hero is that you'll sit down. You know, I remember when my kids would play it, and you would hear all of these songs. You're like, wait, wait a minute, those are songs that we used to listen to. Uh -huh. And uh, so, anyway, it's I got, can't it's play got some oldies, but oldies, but goodies I can't on play there. these games. I tried to play the NASCAR game one time, and I, was, I sort of got hooked on it, but I wasn't very good at it. Yeah, yeah, I used to like driving the Talladega track. I, I got hooked on it too. Yeah. So, um, so kind of a thumbs up, thumbs down, or you know, answer it however you want. Um, Monday night again, here we are, little uh, Rams and the 49ers, which used to be, you know, a huge, huge mm -hmm. rivalry, but Coach Harbaugh, you know, mm -hmm. intense guy. Coach Harbaugh's been here at Walton. He recruited a couple of our Walton players in the past. To Stanford. At Stanford, right, exactly. Um, coach Harbaugh, NFL coach, college coach. What do you NFL. think? NFL. 
Well, and I mean, you, you just it, you, whatever you know. You go NFL like this. College. Yeah, he, he's an NFL coach. I mean, he's he's probably a great he's a great college coach. But I mean, geez, he's he's uh, he's gonna get another head coaching job if he leaves Forty Niners, and, and he's gonna make major money. So, well, I, I can't ever see him leaving the NFL without no winning one. No, I I can't. No. I can't. Hard balls belong in the pros. Exactly. And since John has one and Jim doesn't, I imagine that's yeah. a pretty big motivator. Um, all right, so as a player, go back to your playing days, and then as you were uh, – and then I also want you to think about this as a coach. This is horrible. <laughs> Turf versus grass. Turf. Turf. Why? Because yeah. you can practice on it. I knew you were going to say that as a coach. Yeah. Because before you – know, we used to have the, the practice field down below the, the – uh-huh. before we had – I mean, you could – it was – you could – you could have mud bogs. Well, I, I tell you, as a player, I would <laughs> I would have rather played on something like that. I mean, back then you didn't even know it exists. I mean, you remember what that was like? Yeah, you know, no, it was Legion it was, Field, right? Concrete, Con- concrete with a little thin of uh, plastic but on it, right? That's like um, where I used to be the head coach in Hazard, Kentucky. You know, we we had more speed than anybody in our area, but by the time it, we got to the playoffs, uh, our field, I guess the type of dirt or whatever, it was <laughs> type it, of dirt, it, well, special it, dirt. Yeah, <laughs> it was. Uh, well, it was in a, it was in a, used to be a uh, big coal mine. So anyhow, um, it was just, it just mud, and you know it would always, it would always hamper us. Now that my cousin is the head coach, and he's got a radiant personality, he has a beautiful turf field, mm-hmm. and he's been in the state championship three or four times, and uh, you know, and I'm not throwing that out there. I know. We're talking at home a lot now to my cousin. He does a great job. He does a real good job. And, uh, but, you know, speed in the mud just doesn't work. So, But it was great. It was a great investment there. And I just think that uh, turf any day of the week. So, Coach, the way you talk sometimes, you know, when I hear about it, I mean, I, I, can't, I can't keep thinking you might have, like, Johnny Unitas high tops on when you when you played. But um, you're younger no. than me, so I know that can't be the case. I used to have a pair of Joe Namath swingers. Joe Namath swingers. Pumas. The Pumas, the white ones? Yes. Mm-hmm. God, we're talking about all my home friends. Uh, my idol growing up was a guy named David Napier. Mm-hmm. David Napier was a three-sport star at MC Napier High School, and he played for my dad. Mm-hmm. And I, when I was young, all my heroes were his players. So when I would go visit my dad, that's back like baseball, they would play these like five games over a weekend. And I, I, I had a hard time getting to watch him play football games because they were on Friday nights, right. and usually I missed the game. But there was a couple Saturday games that I got to watch. But David Napier uh, was my hero, and David was the guy with the sweatbands. Uh, he was uh, there was jo- there was Joe Namath, and there was David Napier, <laughs> and David, and he had the, and he had a pair of uh, Puma swingers, and that was the, what they were. And uh, they had them for football, and they had them for baseball. Yeah. And, and uh, I'm not really sure why they had them for baseball. But anyhow, David Napier had them. I asked my dad if he'd get me a pair. So if David Napier wore something, I played I played there baseball with a towel, like a quarterback, <laughs> because David Napier did. So anyhow, that's my shout out to my hero when I was young. So David, if you're out there, oh, Dave's you and out Joe there. Namath, same sentence, yeah. same topic, and um, David Napier was my hero. So I had the Joe Namath electronic football game. I had that too. Yeah, yeah. where the, the the 22 guys. Were we should play a game, or at least get one started and put it on film. <laughs> It'd be awesome. <laughs> what about the I'm pass? sure we can buy one on eBay. I'll, what, I'll give my dad. What about I'll that pass? I'll give my dad that task. What about oh, that pass thing when you had the little felt it? ball? And you, oh yeah. Did you cheat? Well, that's the thing. When did you y'all play, have the rule where you had to be touching the thing? Ha- or did with my brothers, I mean, it didn't matter. I mean, it, it, to this day, it, every every one of those games were turned into a, a wrestling match, fight, and all of that. But the thing I can't, the thing I can't understand is my mom is, still has all of my yeah, well, my it, guys. Yeah, well, we would we would fight over it and cheat it and all that and the other. <laughs> but what I love is how my boys will fight over video games. Now that you're, you're both there doing this. Yeah. How do you cheat? I, mean, it, 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 I don't. Know. The board was more, it was more fun. You get no, mad the board you was cool. It. That was good. Yeah. All right, here we go. Now this this, is, this so, show is going over yeah, time. Yeah, it is. It, it is. So here we go. Middle of the middle. We're kind of middle of the season. I got two two last questions for you. Midway point of the college football season. If you had to pick today, who do you think is number one? Mississippi State. All right. All right. Good choice, I would think. Um, but here comes the key question. You know, middle of October, Halloween's a couple weeks away. Thanksgiving, Christmas. So here we go. The question. Oh goodness! Holiday food, pecan pie, pumpkin pie. Which oh. one? 
pecan pie. Oh, man. All right. Well, there we go. I like them both. All right. <laughs> Look at me. Are you kidding me? That's true. I mean, it's true. You, can, you don't you have put, to choose, right? You can take this thing right here, put icing on it, and I'll take a bite out of it. <laughs> Uh, Homecoming this week, yes. folks. Here we go. Rematch yes. of the Super Bowl from 1980. Raiders versus the Eagles. And the Raiders won that one. Um, uh. It is homecoming. <laughs> We'd love to see you at Raider Valley. If not, tune in the Raider Vision. Myself and Tim Burns will be out there calling the game. And we'll look forward to talking to you next Monday after we recap that Milton Eagles game against Raiders. Take care. Brought to you by Zaxby. We'll see you in a week.